so I guess 76 F 150. There we go, yeah. Not bad with the truck. No, not at all. Hey, come on. What's up? How y'all doing? Good, how are you, sir? How are you doing, Jack? Good, nice to meet you finally. Yeah, man, nice to meet you too. Not over the phone. Yeah, glad that uh, you get to come this far south. <laughs> yeah, it's a warm one. <laughs> Not used to this kind of heat. Yeah. Or humidity at least. <laughs> what do you think about this old uh, Ford truck? It's looking good. You've done a good job on it. Yeah, it's, a, it's been a long road to get it back up. Yeah. It was down for a long time. Our, the, old, the old gentleman that owned it, he quit driving it several years and it sat around, you know. So you let one sit around, it takes a little while to get it back up and going. No, definitely. She looks good though. Yeah, it's uh, turned out to be a nice old truck. I know uh, some comments, you know, people say, well, that one's long gone, you know. And I <laughs> said, well, you know, I ain't even never tried to sell it yet. No. We need to try to get it up running before we, you know, we didn't talk about selling it, so. No. But anyway, yeah, she's a, uh, we're glad it, uh, that you the one going to be the proud owner of it. Yeah, you keep up the work on her. Yes, sir. Yeah, I wonder who's up here on this hillside. Well, let me go check this out. Whoa, Yankee made it here after all. Well, let's go check him out here. Let's go see who, what this dude's about up here. We don't get people from New York coming up here often, so let's go. Let's go meet this gentleman. Hey, how y'all doing? Good, hey, how what? Are you? Zach. Zach. Uh, Jason Woodruff. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, hey. I see you're still alive. Yeah, I'm still kicking. Yeah. <laughs> you know, remember from the, one of our past videos, he about uh, lost his manhood when he, that uh, boom <laughs> fell out, and he rode it all the way down. We'll show a, a, a clip of that just to remind the viewers. Well, let's see, Zach. Uh, again, we appreciate you uh, purchasing the old 76 F-150. Uh, several videos has been made about it. And, and, of course, I'm assuming that's where you first got introduced to it. And also... Uh, you, the last video, y'all remember we did a bunch of uh, buffing on it, and of course I did a lot of work myself. I had to really get after the Minute Man here to keep going at it. He was, I didn't want to turn he was, buffer, but I let him he did, <laughs> he was uh, dragging around. But anyway, uh, give us your first impressions. Talk to us. She's she's solid. She looks good. Runs sounds like she runs good and. Well, you know, sound and look is great. Sound and look, look is good. great, but until you get it out on the road, that's when that's we're going to really know. You know what? I think we'll, we're going to do some video of that. Uh, we want to see you behind the wheel. Try to squeal them a little bit? Uh, it's whatever you want to do. <laughs> Once the money hits our hands, you can, uh, you can burn the donuts all you want. Well, I brought cold hard cash. Let's see if we can work cold a deal here. Cold hard cash. Okay. Well, that's that's how we like it. We work we work great in cold hard cash, don't we? Uh, hey. Cash is king. How about you, what do you say, old minute man? That's the way. That's the way I always like it too. Cold know? hard cash. That's what we'll do. Most importantly, TSA didn't question me about the cash. <laughs> they don't. Down. They didn't. Oh, they didn't question. They, they, I didn't they, tell they, them though how much oh, was in my pocket. Did they? Did they see it in your bag, huh? Oh, they didn't see it. They didn't see it. <laughs> okay. Well, look. Uh, let's do a walk around. I mean. As you can see, the patina is still there. Uh, I tried to talk him out of, uh, I did talk him out of the paint, repainting it. He said, that's why people want it right here. They want it looking like this. Yeah, we'll probably leave it like this for a while, maybe someday repaint it. You are thinking about repainting it? Thinking about it, but it'll go back to original color. The original color? Yep, back to that same color. Okay. Yep. Well, I see the color code is in the door over here. Yep. But anyway, uh, Let's get that final look. Look, he's te you're tearing the headlights out. What's going on here? What's the game plan? Yeah, I'm fixing to change the headlights. On okay. It. You're going to do some modifications yeah, on the we're headlight. Gonna, we're going to actually put a set of LEDs in. Okay. Good deal. We're going to sort of Good deal. modernize it a little bit because, you know, us old boys down here in Alabama, we can drive in the dark with them uh, 
Don't guys around New York, they need some good light. I so. don't know. They got plenty of light over there, don't they? But anyway. Uh, I, now where I am, I'm up there in the Yeah, so let's, let's get that straight for the viewers. <laughs> now, we, we say New York. A lot of people think about the Big Apple, right? They do. No, but, I'm closer there, to Canada than anything. As, actually, there's more probably rural area there in New York. In I'm the in city. a small town. In a small town, about there's the size a, of uh, this little town that you smaller. can. Smaller. Smaller. Uh, 30 so, minutes close as Walmart. Got to go to the next town for Well, gas. there you go. That's it's, it's, it's a misconception. So there is a uh, small, small for a there is country people in New York. So uh, <laughs> okay. and and they don't, all know everybody. They all know everybody. That's great. Person town. That's wonderful. But uh, I, I wanted to let you know we're gonna throw in that carpet for free on the dash. Oh, great. Uh, well, we want you to know that that's that's been up there for a long time, and that's probably what's protected that dash, Zach. Probably. So uh, I think you're gonna be happy with that. I said we got some new rubber on the front of the truck yeah. that provided by you, provided by you. Yep. So that should secure the travel back home. And you're, what's the mileage? Well, what are we looking at from Fed Alabama to? Uh, uh, about 1,200 miles. 1,200 miles. 1,200 miles if I don't want to pay tolls, 1,100 if I pay tolls. Okay, so if you want to go the toll way, you're going to. It's about 60, 70 miles longer. Longer. Well, shorter. 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 Definitely, if you're gonna pay, you gotta go shorter. But uh, and, and I'm hearing those toll toll roads. The tolls are, are very expensive. They are. Time. The plan is I'm gonna go when I leave out of here, drive to Knoxville. Knoxville, Tennessee. From Knoxville up through I-81 all the way to Binghamton, New York, and then I'll take state roads all the rest of the way home. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Yep. And you're gonna. Uh, we see already in the back. It's been prepared for you. Uh, you got a extra five gallons worth of fuel. Is that right? Is that five gallons? Uh, yep. I brought a five gallon gas jug with me. He he threw it in there. And also got some antifreeze. I believe that antifreeze. is. Or is that oil? There's antifreeze and it looks like oil in there. Okay. Got a jack and you got some extra sp uh, spare. Of course, hopefully you will not need none of this stuff. Hopefully not. But I mean, you're Better definitely going to need this. <laughs> I mean, as you start traveling north, uh, I'm assuming you're going to get in some serious five dollar plus uh, uh, per. Looks like it, about four seventy five is the highest. I, okay, that, that was I know of. That's what you were seeing. Yep. I was uh, about two weeks ago. I was up in uh, Pennsylvania, and uh, myself, furthest north I've ever been in my whole life, and I actually got the honor of paying five <laughs> forty something for a gallon of yep. gas. But anyway, yeah. Pennsylvania is actually home to the most expensive toll road in the world. And what, what are we looking at? The what? Pennsylvania Turnpike. Uh, I hear it's like in the twenty dollars range. It's more than that. New York State's about thirty dollars in a car to go all the way across. On wow. The toll road. Pennsylvania's most expensive toll is the Turnpike, and in a car, it's about one hundred and seventy-five to two hundred fifty bucks, I believe. And a. Uh, in our semi trucks that he's and I drive, it's about five hundred dollars to drive across the state. You're kidding! If me. you don't have an easy pass, yep. If you pay bucks. cash, it's like five hundred dollars. Right, so they're they're trying to really generate some revenue there. Yep. It's the most uh, expensive toll per mile. Okay, well, pre appreciate you warning us th <laughs> that we won't be going that way. No, uh, take the state roads. Take the state roads. <laughs> Go the long route. Yes. Yeah, it's going to cost you more in fuel, but I I, be I believe you're probably still saving the long run, right? Oh, uh, for sure. Or, Okay, so uh, we're doing this little slow walk around, and again, we're thankful for Zach's uh, willingness to buy this pickup, because, I mean, we were going to sell it to somebody, and you were the lucky man, so we appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, maybe later on, once the Minuteman gets done doing some modifications here on the headlights, maybe we can get y'all out there on the road and oh, check definitely. it out. Okay. Go out there for a nice little cruise. Absolutely. Absolutely. Are you qualified to do this? Oh, not really. But don't tell no, nobody. I tell you what, I've already seen the other one over here, and it is sharp. You think it? We're gonna watch like to change to, this one. You think you'd like to have a set of them in yours? Oh yeah, definitely, okay. definitely. Well, we'll see how they look. Okay. I want to be a part of this. <laughs> As you can see here, this is kind of a little team effort. <laughs> We're all uh, changing out the marker lights, the tail lights. Anything that's got a bulb in it, uh, we're switching it over to LED. So hopefully uh, all of this will work. We're going to also go get you a power source inside, some yeah. charging phones. Yep. Try to get an inverter in yeah, there. Yeah, he's just saying something about trying to get an inverter so we can have some kind of power on the way home. Yeah, you definitely need that. We brought that. a little speaker with us okay. so we can listen to some music off the phone on the drive. All right. I heard you had, you had that uh, Mustang... Uh, 
wound it up out there on the highway. Yeah. I was afraid you was going to uh, sling a rod in it. We only drive fast when we're in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> we're now in Mexico? Only in Mexico can we drive fast. <laughs> really? Okay. Somebody did at work ask me about you, Heath. They said, who was the guy with that big beard? I said, that's Heath. No, that ain't Heath. <laughs> you done boo-boo now, Heath. No, we just need some... We need these pliers right here. That 1976 bulb uh, decided to disintegrate, did it not, Zach? Yeah, it did. You did a wonderful job. You got it out. There should be it right there. That's beautiful, LED. There we go. Right there. Whoa, look at that, that's bright. Nice, bright. nice and bright. Well, I was thinking the LED headlights, so I'm like, once you put LED headlights in, Nobody's gonna be able to see the turn signal, so we gotta go with an LED turn signal. Exactly. Well. What's nice is when I get when I got the time, these have extra wires in there. Yes. For that outer ring to halo as a driving light or a turn signal to flash in coordination with them. That'd be cool. You gotta tap them into here and Right, you gotta do some uh, modifications some to the wire. Work and yeah, that would be no problem. I mean you're no, right. Not at all. I got all the stuff at home. I can tap in, run new wires. Man, this this looks great. I like these. Hey, we need to uh, get a link, don't we, uh, Dad from Daddy from the uh, where he bought these at, and get us. Right. I actually saw these lights on a '75, I believe it was, on YouTube. He had put them in his '75, and I was like, "Well, oh, <laughs> let's try them out." We're right. On Amazon. Did a wonderful job there. I got one of them little things that runs off battery power. Right. You know, zip, zip, zip. Yeah, where's that thing at? Yeah. You like doing it? Uh, you like doing it the hard way, like me, no, right? I don't. I don't like doing it the hard way. <laughs> I bet you'd like me to go get that impact, wouldn't you? No. But you know, stuff as old as this is, and you might not want to get too crazy with the impact. It'd probably crack it all up. Is that just? It don't blink, does it? It's just a marker light. It just comes on. I'm not sure. It's just a running light. Yeah, running it don't light. Blink. We're gonna change these tail lights out too. I'm assuming in the back. Yeah, I think he, I think he got bulbs, but I don't think he got lenses. He's trying to keep it somewhat the original look. Oh, I don't blame him. Good looking truck though. He's just trying to make sure he can see it. Not. Here you go, Zach. Here we go. Look at that. There's a clean connection on those. Yeah. Yeah, the springs there. Okay, good. He got one of these packages already open. Yep. This is the red one right there. So, tag light should just be a plain oh, white bulb. There. Look at there, that's beautiful. Good lord. That's beautiful. I mean, nice bright tag light. <laughs> you won't be pulled over for that reason. No. Look how beautiful that is, y'all. I like that. that. Was this stuff off of eBay, Amazon? All of Amazon. Okay. I think everything, we got one, that one big box, everything came to about, what was it, 150 bucks I spent? 150 some odd. 150, $200 for all the, the lights. Headlights and all. Uh, yeah, headlights and all. The bulbs are about 10 bucks a pack. Headlights are about 75 for the pair. All right. I um, had a lot of great reviews from old guys with older trucks saying that they just work great. They're just a standard seven inch that's on every Jeep or. Right. Miata or old pickup, as long as it's a square, as long as it's a round headlight, they all take a seven inch. Right. Touch your gas a little bit. Touch it. Uh, this one's working, but the other one we is. No, wait a minute. I think the other one is working. Yeah, it's working. It's working, Zach. What you got there? That's our uh, 32 Fett County tag, 1969. We're going to put on the F100. All oh, right, on the front, huh? Yeah, I'm going to redo Call it. Call it up? Yeah. I think I'll redo it and repaint it. Okay. If I can't do it, I can get him to do it. He'll do it. Oh, yeah, he'll do it. I think in Alabama, you can actually use okay. these tags. You can. You can put it on there and, and actually uh, go ahead and uh, just like it. Uh, they'll give you a tag receipt for it. So you can still reuse those tags? Yep. Gonna run some uh, 
hot ground here for a inverter so mr zach here can have a way to charge phones and and things like that you know these trucks didn't other than a cigarette lighter but uh is the cigarette light the cigarette lighter's not working in the truck he said he doesn't have one. Oh, he doesn't have one i thought it did so it has a place for it, but the, I guess it was uh, it was not a standard equipped thing. It was an option. So this is what we're going to be doing right here. We're going to be running these wires here to uh, to give him a chance to plug into an inverter so he can charge his cell phone and cameras and what have you. This is a temporary uh, wiring job anyway, right? Yeah, he's going to take it out. I'll just, uh, I'll just leave us some slack right there, so, yep. anyway. If you don't mind, I'll, uh, here in a little bit, Zach, I'll uh, break this uh, car seat, uh, cover in, the seat cover in for you. Okay. I'll fart on it. and. That works for me. Yeah. But you know, man, you talked about that. If you can't, can't buy it, build it. If you can't buy it, build it. What we've always And that's, well, I, that's typically why we're building everything, because we never it. can buy nothing. Absolutely. We're too... You're too tight water or, or we're too lazy to go buy it, one of the two. Uh, maybe it's something to do where we just ain't got the money. How about that? It could be, yeah. That could be a little bit of all of it there. That's for sure. So we got a button here for on and button for off, right? Yeah. Well, is it working? I, I ain't hooking my battery up yet, but we're fixing to check it yeah. out. Yeah, okay? well, let's do that. The viewers definitely want to see we're this. It's very suspenseful right now. All right, moment of truth, everybody. Hold on. Wait a minute. Ready? Three. Two, one. Yeah! Oh man, that scared me. Did it work? Yep. We got power. Let's see. Put it up to camera. I, I didn't see it. I you got that little power light right there. So that's telling us we're going to be able to provide some uh, voltage here. Hey, give me your phone charger. What most of us use are power inverters. Now this is just a small one that I picked up from Pilot Flying J, something like that, 750 watt, good enough to power a, a cooler or a uh, computer, maybe even a TV. Or okay. just charge your phone. Or charge your phone. That's right. Hey, he's giving me the great, so, yeah. giving the great news. Hands on my shoulder. The great news oh. is your power inverter is working. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, folks, here's our final goodbye to the old 1976 Ford F-150. We're going to do one more long last look. See you, old Ford Gold. Take it easy, buddy. Thank you, folks, for watching this video. And if you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel. And if you like this video, please press the like button. And also, if I'm not asking too much already, drop us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Until that next video, Y'all have a blessed day.